What's up YouTube, it's James Hugh Quick, and today I'm happy to kind of kick off my first of a series of resume reviews. And this is kind of the idea that I want to, uh, one, be able to help individual people, but also then have other people benefit from those reviews as well. So what I'm gonna do is go through this resume, make my recommendations on what I would change and what I would tweak to make it most efficient for uh, looking to get into a development job. So if you're new to development, you're kind of transitioning into development, uh, these are the things that I think are important uh, along the way. So uh, we've got a, the first initial thoughts here. The resume looks really good. I like the style, uh, I like the color. Um, I like the layout, I think that looks really good. A couple of things uh, design-wise that I would change. One, and I'm, I'm not, not a designer by any means, but the, the content here is a little bit hard to read just because it's centered. I think all of that being left justified would, would work a little bit better, it would be a little bit cleaner, it'd be easier to read. And obviously, uh, recruiters don't spend a whole lot of time on resumes, so making that as easy to read as possible is, is definitely gonna be the best thing to do. So I would left justify that. Uh, I might do that with uh, with this side over here. It does kind of have a cool effect with like kind of the tree look, uh, but I would probably left justify uh, the skills section over here as well. Now one thing, as I scroll down here, I'm gonna see that this is a two page resume and typical recommendations are for resumes to be one page. So a couple of things that jump out on how to how to accomplish that, because I know it can be kind of overwhelming to think, oh, I've only got one page to sell myself and talk about my experiences. Well, if you start uh, reading through this, uh, there's a web developer and then it talks about WordPress and it talks about YouTube channel. So then down here, uh, they've got a relevant project and uh, reference those same things. So they reference that same uh, company and website. And then I think the YouTube stuff is down here as well. So you've already got those two things referenced. So I would just go ahead and remove the YouTube and the WordPress part and just kind of highlight them, maybe bold them up here to make them stand out a little bit. And I think you've got the same thing. If we look at, uh, let's scroll back down. So Adobe uh, Creative Suite, talk about doing some design stuff with Photoshop and logos. I think you've got some of that reference. Let me find it here design graphics to enhance. Uh, so you've got that, you've got similar stuff already kind of referenced up here. So I would probably look to try to remove all of this because it's already referenced in your experience and then may, maybe bold some of that stuff in the experience tab. That will help you get a lot closer to just the one page. Now, then you have, uh, you have this section of skills and then additional skills. Um, I think, let's actually start, let's go back up a little bit. So let's start with this section of skills. I, I'm a little like anti-cliche, I guess, if that's, that's the best way to put it. So things like self-starter, detail-oriented, uh, that ends up being on a lot of resumes, but if I'm looking at a resume, that doesn't really, it doesn't really tell me much, right? That's just a, a word that someone puts on paper. It's really, the interview is where I would determine what what uh, what kind of skills socially or about your personality I think that you have. So those don't mean very much to me. I would be comfortable with taking that away. And then up at the top of the skill section, you've got web development, coding and programming, front end and back end development. I think you can really sum this up in one line and say full stack development. So that incorporates web, that incorporates front end, back end, and obviously incorporates the more general coding and programming. So I think you can take away uh, or change those three lines to basically become one. I'm okay getting rid of these. Uh, I'll let that be a personal decision uh, for you and, and the people out there watching, but those don't really mean a whole lot to me. From there, I think you can move up these things, which do have some good keywords in there. Keywords are gonna be huge. Languages, Python, uh, technologies like Git and GitHub, Visual Studio Code is a big one, Java, Spring Boot, Bootstrap. Those are good things to have up there. So sliding that up, one brings it to the forefront and uh, and then helps you get down to one page. And you've got the, the last section here of additional skills. I think you can squeeze that in and you might have to pick and choose a little bit uh, which ones you might be getting rid of, which is cool. So I happen to know, uh, one of the things I wanna highlight, I happen to know uh, what this person 
is what kind of job this person is looking to apply for. So knowing that uh, the job opportunity is specifically looking for a little bit of CMS background. So highlighting this WordPress, making that bold. They also mentioned YouTube in the job description. Make that bold as well. Really make that pop. We already talked about the, that before. Uh, social media stuff, make that pop. That that actually, um, in the job, I think that, that is being applied for here, that actually is very useful as well. So you can kind of make that pop a little bit as well. And then the graphics. And that will, again, take care of all the stuff that you re have referenced in the relevant projects. You'll go ahead and really highlight right up front. Let's see. Uh, so you've got a boot camp on here. Again, I would make this, this content uh, left justified. Got the education with a... I guess one of the things I'm a little bit confused, oh, BA, never mind, <laughs> Bachelor of Arts. I was gonna say, what kind of degree is it? So Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, that's pretty cool. Um, I think that stuff looks really good. I would just left justify that. So I think all in all, like overall, it, it looks really good. I love the feel of it. I, I like the colors. Uh, I like the layout. I think it's really clean. I think you can do a little bit of design part with left justifying this stuff to make it a little bit more readable and probably this stuff over here too you can then start to take out a few of these skills and then parse those down so you can get all of your skills on that little side uh, side thing on the left. And you can also kind of remove the relevant projects by highlighting some things inside of your experience uh, and make those really pop and stand out. And that will give you, again, recruiters spend like minimal amount of time, unfortunately, looking at resumes. So the more you can kind of put it right there in their face, these are the things that I'm good at, these are the things that I have experience with on one page, the better off I think you're gonna be. But again, overall, great job. Uh, wish you best of luck with the application that you're putting in. I hope that that works out. I hope that you uh, got something out of this review and I hope other people watching get something out of me reviewing other people's resumes as well. So that's gonna do it for this video. I appreciate, appreciate you guys checking it out and I will see you in the next one. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. You can also check out learnbuildteach.com to sign up for the newsletter to learn about my latest content. Thanks for watching.